Right guys, let's start the range test then. So I'm just doing pedal assist for this range test. Um, no throttle and I'm going to try and, <laughs> just so much power the way it pulls away. Um, I'm going to try keeping it on a moderate level, probably two power level two to three, something like that. Um, and it's going to be, there's a few hills. It's going to be a pretty average kind of um, sort of ride really. There's not too many hills and it's, it's mostly flat but there are occasional hills. And I think that kind of represents kind of, you know, what it's like out there, unless you live in, uh, unless you live in Wales. <laughs> anyway. Right guys, first little checkpoint, we were at two miles, battery's dropped about two volts, that's about it. So back on the, uh, back on the tow path. So next checkpoint, I'm at 3.9 miles now. can get up some good speed now because there's no one around up to um, maximum 15 and a half mile an hour <laughs> obviously it might be a little bit more because you're pedaling as well so I can feel the motor cutting in and cutting just sort of bringing it in and bringing it out let's slow down some people here thanks Yeah, just coming up to the next town and we'll, um, we'll check how many miles that is at that point. So I'm not going super easy with this either. Like I'm, I'm actually kind of maxing it out. Most of, the, most of this down here has been probably full power as in I'm pedaling as fast as it will go <laughs> on the, uh, for the motor to be still sort of engaged. Oh, it's a lovely day actually, it's turned out to be in the end. It's not crazy warm, so the ambient temperature, the battery's not gonna be, you know, super hot. It feels, feels warm though, because it's obviously been working, which is gonna, thank you, is gonna decrease the internal resistance and it's gonna make, you know, things a lot better. So warmer batteries will always give you more performance, guys. Right, so we're now at a little place called Stancid Abbots. That is 6.1 miles from when we left. We're on 39 volts. So, you know, that is pretty, that's pretty good. It's dropped like literally three volts um, in six, six miles. So we'll see, see how far we carry on. I'm gonna have to turn around at some point because I don't want to get stuck out all this way. <laughs> this is actually quite easy to pedal though, even with the motor off, because it's not particularly heavy, but um, even so, it's another four kilos of stuff um, that you wouldn't have on a normal bike, so it will be a little bit harder. Now, if you feel like you're kind of, you know, running out of steam a bit, what you can do is put it in like a, like a high gear, or is it high gear? Yeah, or low gear, and just literally have your legs going round, and it will just, basically the pedal sensor triggers the motor, so you can almost use that a bit like a throttle, because obviously you're not really allowed to have a throttle, um, but yeah, so that is a way of doing it. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just literally pedaling. Well, my legs are going round, but I'm just running purely off the, off the motor power. But 
Why I do that because I want it to be a, a, a fair test with um, sort of mixed pedaling and mixed, um, yeah, kind of coasting and everything else. Oh, there's some water here. Oh. Right, guys, so yeah, now next checkpoint 7.4 miles down to 38 volts now. So, this is like the, the point and the battery where you get a plateau, so 3.8 because this is a 10 cell battery, so 38 volts. So, it, you'll see it drop fairly slowly at the beginning and then it will basically do a line mostly throughout the whole discharge so we should see we should be stuck on 38 volts for quite a long time 38 37 volts uh, for quite a while um so yeah what was it 7 point 7 point 4 miles what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry on going till i'm going to try and go to 10 and then turn around <laughs> and um you know if we can do 20 miles that will be that's impressive for this sort of setup i'm i'm guesstimating from my experience it's probably going to be you know about about that nice so we are at 8.8 .8 miles now still at 38 volts see it's been a long time since i've been around here it is really pretty so if i recall rightly i don't think you can carry on down the river on that same bit you have to go onto the other side of the river which it used to be pretty bad in terms of like you know gravel so i don't know if i'm gonna do that because this bike's not it's not i that ideal for really really rough terrain it's really kind of a bit of a hybrid really oh no actually it starts off okay so i think we'll be all right let's do that oh. and then i'll turn around and i'll come back on the road i think just to give it even more of a fair fair shot so we do up to 10 miles up here don't think it's too much further so yeah this is what i could remember I mean, you know, it's not terrible, but it's, it's funny how it's exactly the same as I remember from probably about, I don't know, must be about 15 years ago since I come down here. In full beans mode, I really don't want to get a puncher, that's the thing, because I'm quite a long way away from home now. But puncher-wise, um, most of the trouble you normally get with these hub kits is on the back because you if you put a hub motor on the back your weights over it the um the wheels are not really designed for well the tubes and tires aren't really designed for that extra weight so you do get a problem especially if it's like a high power kit as well so we always like beef up stuff like use you know thick thick tires or tubeless or, or maybe just use like you know a thick inner tube um, and fill it with slime that sort of thing to try and mitigate punctures. Right, I'm on the other side of all those, uh, all that, that bumpy bit. That was not much fun at all. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up here. I can't remember where this is actually, but yeah, because we're now on, we've done exactly 10 miles, so that's perfect. All right, let's get up here. Exactly 10 miles, 37 volts. It's good to go. The green, the green battery bar is showing staying pretty positive and again guys look this is so light it's just not even really affecting anything so now i can begin my journey back um, and i'll just go i'll go on the road oh it's nice and smooth on the road <laughs> so i've just gone up to climb mode because this is a little bit of a little bit of a hill here as we go over this railway line <clears throat> but that's just literally just hauling me over here no problem at all i mean i'm hardly putting putting in a bit of effort because i don't want to use all my battery but that's just making it so easy so much easier than if you were well, i hate that so much easier than if you were just doing it just on a on a normal bike no problem at all right next checkpoint just pulling here i'm gonna get some food i'm starving so we're now at 11.6 miles and look a little bit of the battery bar has gone 36 volts this is pretty impressive if, as long as this doesn't drop like now from from here 
So I've still got a little way to go. Right, so I just got some food, sat down to start eating it, and the heavens have opened, which is not ideal. I mean, the bike should be fine because it's waterproof, but I've got another 10 miles to go probably. Right, I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for it. <laughs> the sun's come out now, so it's not too bad at least. Oh, God. It's always the way. Flipping UK. UK weather. All right, this might start using a bit of power now. I'm going uphill. At least the sun's coming out now. It's warming me up a bit. Right, after that hill, the battery has dipped down to 35 volts. I don't know if you can see this here. Look. It's actually showing a bit red. <laughs> a bit red. Hopefully we'll make it back. Shouldn't be too much further now. I'm not sure how many miles. Could be only like three, four maybe. So I've actually come back a quicker way, but it, there's more hills because it's not just flat, you know, obviously down by the river. So it's gone up now, it's gone back up to yellow. So yeah, you will see a bit of a dip after like lots of power has been pulled and it's even going back up to green now. So yeah, we should be fine. All right, so I've had a bit of downhill. Now back into climb mode and um, another hill. So. You know, we're going to take a, take a bit more power out of the battery on this hill. It's not too bad, actually. It's not that bad, this hill. I think I need a coffee. It's nice and warm, though. The air's, at least the air's warm. I've got a warm breeze on me now, so that's nice. Right, coffee stop now. So we've managed 16.7 miles so far on this. I mean, it's pretty extraordinary, really. Um, considering I wasn't really taking it that easy. Nice, getting fueled up. This is like the old days. Do you remember in the, in the earlier videos when I used to test out all the other stuff, um, all the high power stuff? This brings back memories, stopping for a little coffee, <laughs> talking about the situation. But yeah, it's good, 16.7 miles. And um, I mean, I might have to just ride around a bit to try and run it down because I, I don't know what the actual full range of this is at this moment in time. So there, are, there is one way I can go back where there is a really big hill. Um, <laughs> I'm determined to flatten this battery now. But I mean, that's pretty good really, isn't it? It's literally 17, 17 miles so far. Oh, it's starting to rain again. What is going on? Right, it's in the red now, guys. <laughs> and we've got a big hill, which is the final hill right before um, my house. So uh, we're going to have to stop as well. <laughs> it's always annoying when you have to stop and start again. All right. Here we go, guys. Here's the hill, the final hill. There's a little red bar left. I mean, I am, I'm probably about nearly 100 kilos. So, you know, bit of a lump. <laughs> so if you're lighter than me, you're definitely gonna get more range. But this hill, this hill's a pig to go up on a on a normal bike. Even on a pretty low battery, he's still managing it. Not even out of breath. So if I just have my lift, so I want a bit of a rest. So if I just want a bit of a rest and I just have my legs going around a little bit, it's still still taking me out there. So I can I can change the gear and just pedal very lightly and it will just pull me up with my lunch and my, my coffee and everything inside me. We've got a flashing bar now on the battery. The battery's actually flashing, so let's just, um, let's just have a look here. You can see this, look, flashing, 33 volts. So we are down to pretty much flat now. Can we get home? I'll leave it in the maximum power, but we're going on the flat now, so it should be a lot better. It's not flashing anymore. <laughs> it is brilliant, isn't it? It's just about managing 15 mile an hour now. Right on the last bit of juice. We've done it, guys. We are back. Literally back, 18.6 miles. 
18.6 miles total. That felt like quite a long way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And we're at 33 volts now and it's still going. I mean, you know, that is, that is very impressive. Are you really gonna wanna go more than 10 miles there, 10 miles back, 20 mile round trip? I mean, call it 20. If you're a bit lighter, you probably get 20. Um, you know, if you're sort of my weight, guaranteed you're gonna get 15 miles. That is pretty impressive, guys. I think you'll agree.